Welcome to another exciting episode of KOS. Now, I know it's been a long time, and um, I'm going to go into why. I'm going to, it's going to be a video inside a video. Woo, Inception. Um, <laughs> we're going to do that, and you're going to get a chance to see exactly what took so long. Mainly, uh, I had a basement problem, but also... I had a statue situation and I'm going to show you that statue situation while I go over it and explain stuff to you guys so you can get a better understanding of how most of the stuff goes, you know, and um, what shelving to get and stuff like that. Um, so who are we here for? Now remember I left you guys on a cliffhanger, we're here for that guy, Sabertooth. Victor Creed. Now I know you guys is like, yo King, how you gonna give me Victor Creed Sabretooth without giving me Wolverine first? Well, little known fact, Sabretooth actually is a villain of Iron Fist. Sabretooth was introduced in Iron Fist number 14 I believe it came out August 1977. Now, Sabretooth really wasn't a mutant at first. From the brilliant minds of Chris Claremont and John Byrne, the artist, which is one of my favorite artists, and the reason why he's one of my favorite artists, because he was drawing Iron Fist. Um, they came up with this character who was supposed to be a serial killer. You know, but then they made him a mutant later and he became a uh, part of different mutant groups later and then they attached him to Wolverine. A lot of you guys might think that um, he is uh, Wolverine's daddy. That's not the case. Um, his uh, history and his lore is uh, very convoluted. So, uh, the movie depictions of the character, I never thought they got an actual representation of the character. Um, I always thought that the character was either undersized or underwhelming. He's on a scale of a carnage like uh, you see in Spider-Man. He is a serial killer. He's a, a, a maniac. He's a mass murderer. You know, um, and... For you to delve deep into that character, you have to go into his miniseries, which they put out, which was very good. Um, it was done properly. So if you get a chance, go to your local comic book store or go online, you know, at Amazon and order uh, the Sabretooth miniseries, which was drawn perfectly and uh, um, the storyline was very good. Fleshed out the character a little bit more, like, you know, Marvel does. Um... I never thought that you know Fox did a great job of the with the character. Hopefully now that he's in the MCU, that uh, actually you know Kevin Feige and these guys got a hold of the character back, you can actually see a uh, proper representation of this character. This character is uh, by far one of the most interesting villains that you can um, delve into. Because his motivations aren't financial, his motivations aren't uh, through power, his motivations is simply to create mayhem and destruction. Alright, um, alright guys, before I shoot out this video uh, and let y'all see exactly what happened with the other video and for you guys to um, see the, the, the statue in all its glory. Because this is a premium format. It's mixed media. It has two switch out heads. Um, also, I have one of the heads that's pretty custom. It has a, a clear resin in the mouth, like saliva's dripping out. Um, and remember when I tell you about mixed media, guys. Uh, this one, it's the whole body is in um, materials and cloth. So, you know, I keep it in a glass case. Um, because I, I love it. Uh, over a period of time, you know, this mixed media stuff tends to fade. And I notice his colors seemed a little bit faded, a little bit, not too much. But um, Sideshow also put out another uh, statue, same pose, but not mixed media. 
And then they also did another saber tooth, which that saber tooth I'm going to probably pick up along with uh, the wolf ring that goes with it is a companion piece. Uh, might have those like face off on the Dorama on this next room that I'm working on that's over there. So, all right, guys, um, this is the part where I'm going to ask you hey, if you like the video, please like, follow, and subscribe. And also go to lordsofgaming.net where we have the later, latest news on all that's going on in the industry, uh, some news that we have on sports with. Uh, 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 combat talk with the king that's myself and also the looter shooter news with the last word with Lil Cognito and Ibantis. Um right now Destiny is at all time high you have uh, great games at like the division also you have Apex Legends out there tearing up the streets and you know we have a lot of opinion pieces that's up there so please go to lordsofgaming.net um, and also like follow and subscribe subscribe <laughs> yeah I understand it's it's getting back into the swing of things guys but I'm here for you no matter what we're gonna work through everything so I can bring you these premium statues because I get boxes delivered to me daily and um all I'm doing is getting this content out to you guys so again see you next week where I might give you somebody that's trying to take over the world